Hi, I'm the Grow Boss, and this is Garden Science, and this video is about using your lights. Lights are the most important thing in your garden, and this is what we're going to go over today, is using the different size hoods and matching your garden to the hood. <clears throat> and I'll show you why that's so important in a sec, but first, let me, let's just go over this right here. One of the number one questions I get in my store are, when do I change my bulb? And it's a real simple math equation. If you're not getting a pound and a half per thousand, a pound per 600, and a half pound per 400 every 60 days, then you don't need to change your bulb if you're getting less. However, when you're so good that you're losing six or seven grams per light per harvest, then you're losing more than the cost of a new bulb. So you replace your bulb when the value of the light lost, the amount that you lose, is greater than the cost of the new bulb, you should have already done. And if you want more information on growing, you can pick up a set of my No More Grow More flashcards from my website, thegrowboss.com. It's everything you need to know to grow, guaranteed. And while you're there, check out my other products. All right, now back to the three size hoods. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna draw you a picture <clears throat> to help explain what's up with the hoods. All right, this is a focused hood. This is an average hood, and this is a supersized hood. Each one, of these, each one of these hoods has a different light distribution pattern. And that's super important, and this pattern here is four by, sorry, this pattern here is three by three, five feet deep. This light here is four by four, four feet deep. And this one here is like five by five, three feet deep. And that's important <clears throat> because if you try to grow this big plant under this light, it's going to work out well. If you try to grow this plant under this light, it won't work out so well. So you're going to grow two plants that are you're going to grow two plants that are smaller for this light. And this could the worst scenario, could you imagine trying to grow this plant under this hood? Look at all the light lost on both sides of the plant. <clears throat> it is super it is super important that you match the hood's shape to the plant shape. Because if you don't, and you grow the wrong size plant, you're going to be in trouble. And I'll show you, I'll give you an example of like that super sized hood, right? This thing is supposed to grow in a 5x5, five five, like 3 feet deep. So we'll put the light distribution pattern on it. That's kind of the area. <clears throat> now, you've got questions. My No More Grow More Fat Cards have answers. Everything you need to know to grow, guaranteed. Pick up a set at your local hydroponic store or from my website, thegrowboss.com. Let's grow some plants. So you're going to grow a plant, it'll be in a little bucket. You're going to grow a couple of plants, they'll be in buckets. Right? And so these plants here, you're going to top them here and here, and they're going to bush out like this, right? And so you're going to get this scrog that comes out of all these plants. You're going to put them up into a trellis. And all of a sudden you've got all these tops that nicely fill the area up and then when they go to bud, they, the buds kind of just flower into the area, right? So this is the most efficient way to use this light because again, imagine if you tried to grow this plant or even a pair of these plants under this light, right? This is the only place the light would be any good. This is the only place you'd really have any plant all of this plant material here wouldn't get any light and would be wasted. It's super important. It's, I can't, I mean, like, I can't tell you enough how super important it is that a 400 watt light is going to get you one half pound. That a 600 watt light is going to get you one pound. And a thousand watt light is going to get you one and one half pounds. If you're not getting these numbers, you have another problem. 
you've got to deal with, you've got to solve whatever it is that's going on to get to those numbers. And it's not going to be more nutrients and it's not going to be put the light any closer and it's not going to be over water because those are the things that you're doing statistically that are causing the problem. And so what are the best things you could do? Raise the light, water less, add some microbes to the root to try to fix it if you did. But my point is this, it is super important for you to match the hood's shape to the plant size because if you grow the wrong if you grow the wrong shape plant for the hood you're in trouble right look at all that wasted space I'm the grow boss if you like this video I've got more on my YouTube channel grow boss you can buy my book the grow book and equipment guide from your local hydroponic store my website the grow boss eBay Amazon let me know if there's anything I can do for you I'm the grow boss watch my videos Hydroponics can be confusing and expensive if you don't know what you're doing. That's why I wrote the Grow Book and Equipment Guide and these fact cards. Sold at your local store, it's everything you need to know to get started doing this without wasting all that money. I'm the Grow Boss, I wrote the book. Trust me, I answer the same questions every day and this book is full of the answers.